4 p.m. And I ask my reflection, where have you gone? See, here's the thing about me. I measure my self-worth, I value me by the work that I do, how creative I am at any given time, whether that means the videos that I make or the things that I write, and this is why I insist on showing you good content. If it sucks, well, that means I suck. I don't show you the stuff that sucks. Or if I do, then I've obviously overestimated my self-worth at that point in time. I have ADD, I've been self-medicating for a while, and the trick to getting me to focus on my work long enough to do something creative is there can't be any fucking thing going on in my life. It's gotta be so goddamn monotonous that the only way I can find to entertain myself is to do my work. I used to be pretty good at keeping things monotonous, but you can only be so far removed from society before the precious few threads that keep you tied to it snap. And if they snap, you probably won't have anything to eat for a while. No place to sleep, have anyone to fuck, etc. So the trick is to find a really strong piece of thread. Now, my piece of thread went into the Navy. So not only do these simple consistencies that keep life monotonous and uneventful disappear, like, you know, a room with a specific furniture arrangement, but also routines and schedules. Tack on top of that, something I'm not going to tell you. But if I tell you that not even the most disciplined person would be able to handle the last two months as well as I have, would you just believe me? Will you do me that favor? It'll make my point a whole lot more potent. Just imagine the most outrageous thing that you can and go with it. I'll let you be right about whatever you choose. So tack on top of that whatever you just chose, and that's where I've been. I can't focus. Why don't I just go to a doctor and get some medication? Well, yeah. the truth is, I don't trust drug companies, so I started snorting meth. Ah, uh, wait, as a courtesy before I continue, to those of my viewers that might not be above the age of reason, uh, this next bit might not be suitable content, so go ahead and click this little link right there, and you'll skip all the naughty bits. Are you gone? Good. So, I snorted meth, and it was wonderful. I was able to focus, I felt creative and alive, had all these ideas, it was great. Now before you get your fucking panties in a bunch, for those of you that actually know anything about meth or what it does to you, the two times, two times that I've done it, I was only awake for three days. It wasn't much meth. And for both times, I constantly had people monitoring me that weren't under the influence and knew what to do if something went wrong. I forced myself to eat, I drank a lot of liquids. On top of that, I wasn't even paying for it. I mean, there is such a thing as responsible drug use. And both times were excellent examples. Anyone above the age of reason should be able to agree. Well, it turns out my wife, my thread, wasn't one of those people. She was pissed when I told her. Blah, blah, blah. This person and that person were ruined by meth. I'm so disappointed in you. So in the interest of not snapping the thread, I stopped. So proud. And little old, unimaginative, worthless me is sitting before you now. But there is an alternative. And this is about time the kitties came back, so... Hey, kids! Don't do meth. It will kill you. Plus, I'm happy to say there are legal alternatives. First, stop drinking five pots of coffee a day. It won't help. Instead, put espresso beans in your coffee maker. Then, start smoking. And don't stop. When you're of legal age, of course. After that, take twice the recommended daily dosage of Excedrin. Doctors don't recommend you do this, of course, but it's legal. And I'd say take no-dose, but then you don't get the painkillers. And I know. I know. It hurts. Then get four of these and take them all at once. Again, it's twice the recommended daily amount, but look, it's only going to last five hours. And it has over 8,000% of your daily value of vitamin B12. Take four and that's like 32,000%. Vitamin B12. It's a vitamin. It's got to be healthy. And only four calories. Then you might start drinking. Hell, drink more than one kind of alcohol at a time. Mix it up. Again, only when you're of age. Soon, kids, you'll start to see some of your old self come back. Me, I'm still gone, but at least I know where to find myself. Somewhere right down there. So proud.